we are back once again another stack of caskets to open on this journey towards the purple party hat 14.9 billion gp has been accumulated so far it's not a small amount right it's not a small amount in the series so far we're getting closer and closer nearly halfway to the end goal 5,000 hard clues now complete 2,000 elites and 900 masters let's see if we can break our elite dry streak today okay it's been about 700 or so elites since our last broadcast which um, I just can't have right we need to get ourselves back onto a broadcast streak but 200 hards 100 elites today to open let's see how much GP we can make and let's see if we can add any new uniques to the collection as well I reckon today's the day, my friends. I reckon today's the day that we get ourselves up onto either a new third age piece. Um, it hasn't been that long since our last one, to tell you the truth. But could also be a blood day or a third age day, right? Be adding a lot of value to the pot. Start with the Wealth Evaluator. Got my Luck of the Dwarves on. Got the Lando Smith on, of course, for those medium casket procs. Let's start off with these hearts. 200. Starting off, off strong, 1.2. Hopefully we can get at least 200 million GP from this stack of hearts, right? 1 million GP a casket isn't that unheard of, right? Shadow dies at the moment with the prices that they are could also be very welcomed. So, who knows? But Explosive Barrel is definitely up there when I'm wanting to get myself a, uh, some broadcasts because that is a beautiful piece to add to the collection. And, uh... Since I haven't had one, you know, it's kind of like a, it's one of those items that you just want to hunt. It's, I think, for anyone that's hunting hard uh, clue log, it's probably one of the items that every hard clue scroller wants. Uh, considering it is the rarest, or if not, uh, one of the rarest, if not the rarest item that you can get from clue scrolls, right? Nice. Of course, a lot of people go very dry, a lot of people soccer mama, and I'm hoping that I'm in the soccer mum category when it comes to uh, the explosive barrel. Now, I'm getting close to, oh nice, I'm at all pages, I'm getting close to 10,000 hard clues total complete, so still in, very much so in the soccer mum category for the explosive barrel cake. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get it one of these days, right? No more misses. All we need is just broadcasts to add to the collection. But of course with hard clues, they're always such good consistent GP as well. So any amount of GP that we make from hard clues is very nice. Anything is bonus over the top. Um, any broadcasts that we get. Because um, these fortunate components that we're getting from these hard clues, you sell them off for alchemical hardrixes or whatever. However you'd like to uh, choose to sell them. And it's good GP. So we'll see how we get on. 90,000. Wish I could put it in the bin. But um, I've been having a, still a, a lot of fun with doing hard clues over the past couple of weeks. Um, trying to get faster and faster as time progresses. But uh, hard, oh, nice more middle pages. Hard clues are most certainly, if you're wanting to be incredibly optimum with hard clues, they require quite a lot of the, um, unlocks like um, livid, livid farm, etc. Right? I guess uh, things like merchant makes those kind of null and void, but. There's still some restrictions that you need to get and uh, do, right? Still haven't got myself um, the Scepter of the Gods, unfortunately. But, you know, 15 hours in so far. And I'm, I'm hearing that that's not that much. So, we'll see how we get on. I've been struggling with the standard Scepter at the moment. Just charging it with uh, gold pieces for that particular step. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Nice. Of course, the old OG way of getting over to that side, what I used to do, was run from Minifos. So, you know, you learn, learn a lot. You learn a lot doing clue scrolls and joining clue chasing uh, Discord and uh, watching people that are a lot faster than myself at doing clue scrolls. So, as long as you pick up those little tips and tricks along the way, you get, a, you get to the point that you can start doing very, very fast clues. That means that I can get content out even quicker, right? Which is always nice. Because the, the best part about Clue Scrolls is like, don't get me wrong, I love solving, but the best part about Clue Scrolls or any opening in general is the end result, right? Opening up these caskets, seeing if the RNG will bless us. And hopefully today's that day. Nice. Oh, more puzzle skipping tickets, thank you. Making quite a bit of GP from these hard clues so far. Okay. 
received about uh, yeah five masters so far which is slightly under where I want to be but you know okay kind of want to get spoon fed a lot more masters just like I normally do but I'm sure that the elites will make up for that as well nice 87k in the bin dude nice first 100 is down a hundred more hard caskets to go. 108 million GP has been accumulated so far. I want to get to that halfway point. 16 billion GP sounds like a good halfway point, right? Oh, God. Maybe today? We'll see. If um, it's, if it's the standard rewards that we're getting, well, it's going to be a fair while off, right? But a shadow die gets us right there. 1.2 billion GP, right? Mm. <laughs> I've been pretty... Uh, Pretty lucky when it comes to shadow dies over my hard clothes, so not expecting too much. But even with Barrow's dies, with the prices that they are at the moment, um, we'll... oh, let's go, dude! Let's go! Another sack of effigies. These are so rare, though, from hard clues, and I've actually had so many from hard clues so far on this series, right? I've had eight, um, eight uh, backpack slot items or cape slot items in this series so far, which is insane. And Sack of Effigies is so rare from Hard Clues. I'm so surprised that I'm getting so many, right? But another broadcast to add to the collection, right? 2.8 million GP to add to the Wealth Evaluator. Oh, that always makes me a happy man, right? Always a happy man when we add another broadcast to the collection. The actual Sack of Effigies, you know, not the fake one that you get from Masters. So that makes me happy. Another broadcast to add to the collection, adding yet another... Uh, 2 million GP to the Wealth of Valorator, so not that much, but let's see what else these remaining hard caskets have for us today. Let's get it. Okay. It's quite sad that Sack of Effigies is considered very, very rare, right, and it's worth nothing. I guess uh, people just don't like the fashion scape with Sack of Effigies. <laughs> uh, nice. One day, Jagex will just release some sort of... Uh, update for them and be like look these are now used for the best in slot cape in this video game same with backstab imagine imagine all the clue scholars that just have accumulated cape slot items over their time doing clues <laughs> god would not be surprised right stranger things have happened in this video game <laughs> nice 2.8 million gp Quite a good uh, haul in this last hundred. I'm happy. Lots of common rewards there. Maybe another broadcast coming in on these hearts? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Considering Sack of Effigies. So rare. Okay. 150. In the bin again, man. There we go. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. I need that consistent 1 million plus GP, please. Every single clue scroll that I open, uh, not asking for much. All right, 120k. <laughs> nice. Haven't seen any misses on Third Age as of yet. No noted pots. Uh, but who knows? 50 remaining out of these hard caskets. Let's go. God, so many combos. Combos are so nice because they're just, you know, a stackable, a stackable fortunate component. <laughs> so, makes it a lot easier to disassemble to, into fortunate components, right? <laughs> nice. 77k. Oh my goodness. Now all the dregs are coming through, right? I'm just like, Jagus is like, you know, look, you've had your broadcast from these hard clues. That's enough. You can only get sack of effigies and then we're just going to give you trash for the remainder. But, always, just consider myself hashtag never lucky, and then, uh, you know, <laughs> always complain, always get drops. Isn't that the way that works? I'm unsure. <laughs> nice. Masters are picked up as well. Makes me happy. Alright. It is time, my friends, for the final... 25 hard caskets you know the final is in here right the juice is in the final 25 always always right let's go okay absolute garbage 
wouldn't mind just you know just a little a little broadcast you know 3 day jam would be nice imagine calling one of the like a singular item like hard clue wise is so rare like calling out a third age piece just because so many rolls on that table right nice and even just getting up onto that table and at all is insane nice 151k put it in the bin but yeah the amount of um cape slot items that i've had from hards is just destroying my average broadcast value from hard clues i think my average broadcast value is about 200 million gp from um 10,000 elite cl uh sorry uh hard clues which is insane in comparison to 550 mil um, around about from elite, so. Okay. But it's just because I've gotten so many cape slot items in the first 10k hards, um, which is crazy. Nice. 114k in the bin. Another master there. And then the final hard casket out of this stack of 200 hards. Never had anything on my last clue before, so let's go. Never lucky, man. Hashtag never lucky. But we did make over 1 million GP per hard clue. So 209 million GP to add to the Wealth Evaluator from those 200 hards. We've already received one broadcast in today's video. Are we going to make that too? Are we going to make that too? We've got 100 elites to open. The dream is real, my friends. We're getting ourselves up onto a blood die. No more cape slot items, okay? We've had enough. We've had enough. I'm taking a stand. We need to add some more uniques. Let's go. Imagine my first clue, blood die. Okay. Not a bad, not bad. Not good. <laughs> okay. I still love opening elites though. The I get so hyped because the value that you can get from a lottery item from an elite is so well worth it. Like seeing a max cash stack in the reward interface. There's no feeling like it. Okay. A reroll token. That we will use one day in the future. Back to back masters. Okay. Not bad hauls. I mean the fortune is... Okay, Zamorak Bow. Third age Druidic Miss. But I'm not expecting a Druidic until probably about 25k elites. Um, with... Nice, Orlando Smith hat prop. With the way that my RNG is. Um... Because I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty on average when it comes to third age juridic, so. But, of course, it's all RNG at the end of the day. Oh, my God, I thought that was a max cash stack. I was about to die. Two, uh, double fort, trisk piece, and a master. Okay. Back-to-back -back masters, let's go. I don't think anything can beat that video just recently, right? With, like, 40, was it 50 masters? No, surely not, right? But it was a lot. Was it last week's video? I can't remember. All these weeks blur into one with clue scrolls. More free XP. Thank you very much. Okay. 260k. In the bin. Nice. Okay, not bad little hauls so far, right? Not bad, not bad, but... Look, we're not here for the consistent GP when it comes to elite clues, now are we? Elite clues have never been about the consistent GP. They're about those big lottery items that uh, everyone dreams about. Third age time, blood time, third age juridic, wreath. I was talking about uh, third age juridic wreath and how it's been an item that I've been hunting for, I think about three years now, which is insane, right? But the, the rarity of just calling one specific item is insane nice especially when it comes to third age okay. nice 1.3 million gp another master there 50 down 50 more to go still a lot more opportunity okay still a lot more opportunity um and you're getting closer and closer to the 16 billion gp mark as well what is worth so much GP? Oh, okay. Ornament double four, essentially. Right. <laughs> okay, trash. More masters here. 219k because of seeds. Get it rid of it. More seeds dropped in value. Let's just re-roll again. Look at... If there was no fortunate here, this would be literally a 5GP clue. I swear to God. Seeds. 
bane of my existence. Okay. I'm actually going to start up um, a seed stall in RuneScape, okay? So if you guys ever need seeds, man, I'll sell them to you for 1 GP. Because they're trash. <laughs> I've had two masks in this set so far. Interesting. Okay. 1.5 million GP. Wouldn't mind a nice time. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't mind third age time. I kind of want a third age die just to balance out because I haven't had that many. I've had um, a total of two in my total clue count. Um, okay. And for the clues that um, you can get it from, so that's what, 6,500 masters that I've done and uh, nearly 20,000 elites. So 26,000 elites, I've had two third age, uh, 26,000 clues, I've had um, two third age dies. <laughs> so... Another trust piece. 110k. Absolute garbage. Throw it in the bin. Orlando Smith at proc. And then now, my friends, the final 25 elite caskets. This is where the RNG condenses. Let's go. Come on. We know it's happening, right? Can you feel it? I can feel it. <laughs> 192k. Put it in the bin. Oh my god. <laughs> Talking about masters though, holy moly. 40, uh, 42 masters received so far today. That's impressive. Another one. <laughs> the final 20. Okay, the final 25. Just okay, like just chill. <laughs> god. So many masters in this last 25. That makes me happy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, blessed. 247k? Nope. Slightly better there with the reroll. Seeds. Alright. 379k in the bin. God, if I get really lucky and I get three masters from the last four, that means I've had 50 masters today. Hmm. I don't think that's happening, but let's go. Okay, we'll get one more chance. Okay. Okay, never lucky. 237k with the master, let's go. Okay, okay, look. Just chill, just chill. On the very final elite casket, we need to get a master, and we've had 50 masters today. Ready? Let's go. Never lucky, dude. Scammed out of my final master. So, <laughs> of course, today we received one broadcast to add to the collection, a sack of effigies. We received 49 masters from that stack, of course, because we had one in the inventory when we first started. And today we made 285 million GP to add to the Wealth Evaluator as well. So not a bad haul whatsoever. 85 million GP roundabouts or just slightly less than that from those elites. 200 million around about that from those hard clues. So getting us up over 15 billion GP as of today. Not a bad haul whatsoever, right? Not a bad haul. Let's see if we can get ourselves some more broadcasts next week as well when it comes to uh, dies, especially from those elites, right? Hopefully... Hopefully, we can get ourselves up onto a Blood Dower Third Age Die table soon. But if you guys like this kind of content, which is just pure clue chasing content, please be sure to subscribe because this is all I do when I log into RuneScape.com as I do clue scrolls and I upload them to this YouTube channel. If you like this particular video, pop a little like down below. I'd appreciate it a lot. It means a lot to me. And if you have any questions, comments, queries, pop it in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys have had a fantastic day, no matter where you are in the world. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.